Are you ready for a major winter storm that's bringing more than just snow to the United States? In Concord, you can see over a foot of snow if the storm's heaviest bands park right over you. You can expect at least another widespread two to four inches of snow. But honestly, I believe it's very possible you'll see around three to six inches, maybe even four to eight inches in parts of Indiana and Western Ohio. So for all of you who were wishing for a real snowfall, this could be it. Now, what if you're living further south? Let's take Nashville, for instance. I just don't see much snow happening there. You might see a few stray flurries early Tuesday morning as the storm pulls away, but there is almost no chance of any real measurable snow in Tennessee. But don't go anywhere, because the story is completely different for the Northeast. And that goes for the eastern Ohio Valley and the mid-Atlantic, too. Now, with most winter storms, the snow is what we worry about most, isn't it? These areas are where we're expecting some much heavier snowfall. In fact, one area is seeing its snow forecast increase quite a bit from yesterday. I'm talking about Pennsylvania, New York, and New England, where at least four to eight inches seems very likely. And get this, it is not out of the question that a few towns could see totals closer to 10 or even 12 inches. That will all depend on if these heavy snow bands line up perfectly. That's a real possibility in southern Vermont and also near Lake Erie, where another factor comes into play. You could see an extra burst of lake effect snow right on top of the storm's main snowfall. So it's looking more and more certain that we will have a few spots with some very significant snow totals. So to be clear, but what if I told you this storm is packing a punch that's far more dangerous? Expect a widespread three to seven inches, but some of you will absolutely fall into that six to 10 inch range. But let's look at this again. While some isolated spots could see over 10 inches of snow, a classic winter storm is kicking off the season across the Northeast. But what I'm truly concerned about with this storm is the hidden danger of ice. Now, this isn't going to be one of those monster ice storms you read about in the history books. But is the risk still real? Absolutely. From today into early tomorrow, ice is a serious threat across parts of Arkansas and southern Missouri. It's also a danger for eastern Oklahoma, western Tennessee, and right back into Kentucky. Now, this ice won't be everywhere, but there will be enough of it to make any untreated road slick in the blink of an eye. We're talking about widespread freezing rain, a serious threat across Arkansas. To be frank, I'm nervous we're going to hear about accidents today in Arkansas because of this sneaky ice. So please, listen carefully. If you have any plans to travel in the next 24 to 48 hours, you absolutely must take it very, very slow out there. This is especially true in Arkansas, or anywhere you see that pink shading on the map. But here's a twist. Ice can form even outside of these warning areas, so don't get caught by surprise. For most of you, we're not talking about a tenth of an inch of ice coating everything. It's more like a twentieth of an inch of ice in most places. That might not sound like a lot, but here's a fact that might surprise you. All it takes is a simple glaze of ice. That's less than one hundredth of an inch of ice to make the roads incredibly dangerous. And that can happen very easily on untreated roads, especially through the Ozarks. Kentucky, West Virginia, and even reaching into the higher elevations of the Carolinas. Now, shifting our focus to the East Coast, the threat of serious ice accumulation gets even higher. Again, this is not a catastrophic ice storm, but that doesn't matter when it's your neighborhood. We expect several scattered locations will pick up, around a tenth of an inch of ice from freezing rain, particularly in the Appalachian Mountains. And that's not all. Eastern Kentucky could also see ice build up close to a 20th of an inch. So what's the takeaway here? With this amount of ice, we have to be ready for the potential for power outages. I'm most concerned about the Appalachian Mountains for those outages. And dangerous travel is almost a guarantee, so please, I'm asking you to stay safe out there for the next 48 hours. But what happens after this winter storm is gone? As you know, even a thin glaze of ice makes driving and walking extremely hazardous. Well, we're tracking more trouble for later this week, and while Wednesday's snow isn't the big story, something else is coming. But some light snow is still expected across the upper Midwest and over the Rockies. 
But the real question is, where is the next big storm brewing? You'll want to keep your eyes on the Gulf Coast this Thursday and Friday. A new storm system is set to form right over the Southern Plains late Thursday, and it could bring heavy rain and even some isolated rough weather all happening just below a calm patch of high pressure building over the Midwest and Ohio Valley. Now, as we look ahead to late Friday and into Saturday, things really start to change. That's when a much more serious threat of severe weather could pop up right along the Gulf Coast. And here's a surprise twist. We might even see freezing rain and snow as far south as North Carolina and Virginia. But some neighborhoods in this zone could get a tenth of an inch of ice, or even more. And perhaps that messy weather will show up again in the mid-Mississippi Valley on Friday. So what does this all mean? It means we need to watch this very carefully. Then, by Saturday and Sunday, right as the weekend gets going, that's when things could get even more active, with another possible shot of heavy snow across the Midwest. We could be talking about three to six inches of snow from a storm like that. And looking even further ahead in the next week, now this is still a ways out, but the forecast models are hinting that mid-December could be very stormy all across the United States. We could have a couple of major storm systems on our hands. What happens next will depend a lot on the Pacific Ocean over the next seven days or so. You see, if a big stream of moisture comes ashore in the Pacific Northwest, that's more than enough to snap tree limbs and cause power outages that could last for days. We could see a repeat of what happened over the last seven days with those two different winter storms. Remember, one hit the Midwest and the other moved right through the Midwest, the Ohio Valley, and into the Northeast. And you have to keep in mind, the official start of meteorological winter was today. This means we are heading into a very active weather pattern. It has been quite some time since we've had a start to December this busy. I honestly can't remember the last time we faced the possibility of several different snow events during the first couple of weeks of December. The last few years have been pretty calm and mild by comparison. So this is a big change in our weather across the country. And just as a friendly reminder, today is the very last day for our big Black Friday sale at shopmaxvelocity.net. So in this forecast, you need to pay close attention. You can still get $5 off on any order of $50 or more. And for those of you who love cats, we've just released our new cheese card collection featuring my very own furry friend. You can also find our wonderful Happy Holidays items, the popular Supercell collection, and so much more. Picking up a little something is truly one of the best ways to help us keep making these videos for you. If you're curious, just click the very first link in the description right below this video to see everything. Now, you won't want to miss what's coming next. So be sure to look for our new video tomorrow. We have a big surprise in that one, and we'll see you then. We are going to walk you through everything you must know about this nor'easter that's set to affect millions of Americans. A powerful storm system is quickly gaining strength as it moves from the heartland toward the east coast. And before we dive into the minute-by-minute -minute details, you've probably noticed I'm in a different setting today. It's not a green screen, I promise you. Believe it or not, I am coming to you from a cruise ship right here in the middle of the Caribbean Sea. I'm on vacation for the next seven days, but a storm this serious requires my full attention and yours. And I felt it was absolutely critical to get this warning out as this dangerous winter storm gets organized back home. So don't miss the next part. Let's get right to the maps and see what it looks like this very morning. The storm is already active, with bands of snow across Kansas and that dreaded freezing rain popping up in Oklahoma, northwest Arkansas, and southwest Missouri, and it's just getting started. This ice is the number one concern as we head through the morning and into the early afternoon, and it's poised to unleash a treacherous combination. We're going to see this slick area of freezing rain and drizzle expand. So stay tuned for our next update, where we'll pinpoint exactly which towns are at the highest risk. A messy mix of drizzle and rain is stretching all the way from Little Rock, Arkansas, clear back through Joplin, Missouri. But what does that really mean for you? 
It means if even a little bit of that rain freezes on the roads, things are going to get slick in a hurry, especially on any back roads or bridges that haven't been treated. And to be honest, I'm quite concerned we'll see a lot of those dangerous spots all day long today in Arkansas, as well as eastern Oklahoma and southern Missouri. Please be careful out there. Now, as we get closer to the lunch hour, watch this. That area of snow is going to expand, covering from central Kansas all the way to western Illinois. At the same time, that dangerous freezing rain is going to keep coming down, posing a serious threat right across northern Arkansas and into southern Missouri. And farther south, just a whole lot of heavy rain is expected down toward the Gulf Coast of heavy snow and slick ice from Kansas all the way to Maine. So, thankfully, no icy weather to worry about in Louisiana, Mississippi, or Texas. But stick with me, because by late afternoon, things change again. That blanket of snow is just going to keep on growing. But have you ever wondered why a storm gets so big? It's because two powerful air masses are on a collision course. We have one giant mass of air rolling in over the Rockies, clashing with another one, pulling moisture straight from the Gulf. And when those two giants meet, all of that moisture combines into one monster storm system as we head into late Monday night. What does that mean for the snow? It means it's about to get much worse. It won't just be spreading out over more states. It's also going to start falling much, much heavier. So get ready for heavy snow to start blanketing the area Monday evening, right across Illinois and even over near Indianapolis. And we can't forget about that ice, that freezing drizzle is. Let's first talk about the snow, which will cover a huge area from the Central Plains. Going to remain a real danger in the far western part of Kentucky, near places like Mayfield, as well as southeast Missouri and northeastern Arkansas. Now listen closely if you're near Jonesboro, because you could see a quick but dangerous round of freezing rain. That means a glaze of ice could easily form on any untreated roads, making driving treacherous. This is especially true late Monday night. You won't believe how much bigger that snow gets by Tuesday morning. Just look at this map. See all those dark blue colors showing up all over the Ohio Valley? That's your signal for much heavier snow. And those snowfall rates could be as high as two to three inches an hour. This is going to be a very serious winter storm. But here's the good news for everyone who is tired of the snow. This storm is moving through very quickly. It won't stick around for long. Straight through to New England, where many of you are likely to see three to seven inches of snow. For most folks, the worst of it will only last about four to six hours. And remember, this will be that heavy, wet snow, which means the snow won't be piling up too quickly on the ground. But make no mistake. This will add to the snow we just got over the last couple of days. Many of you will remember that storm. It brought record-breaking snowfall for November, didn't it? That includes folks near Fort Wayne, Indiana, who saw quite a bit. And the same goes for central Illinois, near Springfield and St. Louis. Now here's what to watch for overnight. We're expecting some tricky freezing rain to move across parts of Kentucky, southern Ohio, and even over to the west of Nashville. But here's the crucial part. It's going to be very light, but it only takes a little to make the roads dangerously slick. Now, are we talking about a major ice storm that takes down power lines? But here's the real story. There's a narrow corridor where the snow will be much, much worse. No, the storm is moving too fast for that to happen. But the real danger is what's coming right behind it. And you'll want to hear this. First comes the freezing rain, and then it's followed by moderate to heavy snow. So what does that create? A hidden danger. Black ice on Tuesday morning. And on top of that, you'll have fresh snow accumulating right on the roads. It's a true double whammy in some areas. A very thin, nearly invisible layer of ice buried under a fresh blanket of snow. That's the kind of morning that can lead to school delays or even closings. All of that heavy snow then barrels into the northeast on Tuesday morning. We're talking around 7 o'clock in the morning. A coating of snow will cover all of Pennsylvania, New York, and begin pushing into New England. From the Great Lakes to the northeast, we're talking about the possibility of double-digit snowfall. But what happens in the afternoon? 
that's when the storm really gets going. We're forecasting some very heavy snowfall for parts of New York, especially around Albany and over near Worcester in Massachusetts, where that snow could come down hard and fast. If you're in those areas, you'll be on the tricky borderline between rain and snow. Further north, for New Hampshire, Maine, and Vermont, it's a different story. A fast-hitting nor'easter will move through during the day on Tuesday. And then, by Tuesday evening, most of that snow will start to wind down. It will, however, keep snowing across Maine, New Hampshire, and Vermont all the way through about midnight. But if you're anywhere else in the northeast, the timeline is much shorter. The snow should be all finished by the evening hours. So this is a quick-moving nor'easter if you're in places like Erie, Albany, or Worcester. But don't let it speed fool you. It's still going to cause some big problems on the road. So how much snow and ice is this winter storm really going to leave behind in the next couple of days? Let's start with the first places to see the snow, right across the central plains in the Midwest. Now, for most of you there, you're looking at a widespread two to four inches of fresh snow. But a few spots in central Kansas could get a little surprise with closer to five inches. Keep in mind, this is a fast-moving storm. It won't stick around for long. We wouldn't call this a major winter blast for Missouri, Kansas, or western Illinois. But if you're in Illinois, Indiana, or Ohio, things get more interesting. All this new snow is going to pile right on top of what's already on the ground. 